Now let's show an example of how you can combine multiple hinges together to create something akin to an articulated body. Now the way that this is set up is that each of these hinges have a different orientation or a different reference axis, but the orientation of the hinges themselves aren't dependent on anything before it. They're just set up in space because I haven't attached the rotation. Now if I come in and start to manipulate some of the rotation, notice that it'll rotate the first body, but all of these are simply set to attach to the UW position to the end of the other one. So it just stacks them all together and they rotate around. If we come to this second one, notice that we can move all of these around and it will translate things, but the only one that is really rotating is this pipe. Now, if we come to the next one, you can see that we can kind of articulate this however we like. You can get lots of interesting complex orientations and articulations by combining hinges together in ways that make sense. Now you can also set it up so that the hinges say use a normal direction relative to the component that you're attached to, in which case every preceding hinge is going to change where and how the other orientations are manipulated so that you can get a very complex articulated system by combining these hinges. And if you want, you can have something that deploys or stows or unfolds or does some type of motion based on a single linked parameter. And let's show an example of that now. In the example files, if you come to this six level linked hinge, you're gonna get this little hexagon shape. But notice that there is a hinge at every single one of these joints. And if we go to model and our user parameters, we already have a hinge fraction parameter that's linked to every single one of these. Now watch what happens as I move this around. Because I have all of these hinges linked to a single parameter, that means that regardless of how these are oriented, either it's zero to 100% of its range of motion. So I can prescribe that this thing curls up on itself several times. I can say that it's completely unfolded at one. I can turn this around and say that at zero, it's not folded at all. And at 100%, it's completely articulated to its end position. And you can do this in a variety of ways. This is just one very simple example of how you can combine the motion of various hinges to go through a prescribed articulation very easily. And this is using a single linear link. If you want to make a very complex system, you can use the advanced links to prescribe equations of motion to every single one of these.